Hi, I'm Rudy Winston with an overview of a comprehensive new firmware upgrade for many different Canon EOS camera models. This new firmware is available now and is a free download from the support and downloads page for your camera model on the Canon website for your sales region. Because the firmware is distinct for each camera model, two important points for this overview. First, the firmware version number for each camera will be different and reflect the consecutive sequence of firmware versions for that camera. In other words, if your camera's firmware before the upgrade was version 1.8, it will now read as version 1.9 after this upgrade. Second, for some camera models, like the EOS R5 Mark II and R1, there are some significant new camera features added. Not all models will get each feature upgrade, however. For some camera models, the list of actual changes and new features may be rather modest. Again, what each camera adds is different depending on the camera model in question. One of the key highlights this new firmware update adds is enhancing security, and we'll briefly explain it shortly. But we'll have a second video to explain these new security features in greater detail. Canon engineers have also developed some new camera features which will be added with this firmware upgrade. Some of the major ones will be mentioned here. Again, the EOS R5 Mark II and EOS R1 cameras have the most extensive list of features added, but other models have some available once this new firmware is installed. Here's a quick look at some of the highlights. Simultaneously protect images if ratings are applied in camera. This prevents accidental erasure of images you select during playback and apply a star rating to using the camera's rate button. Set the number of shots in pre-continuous shooting. This adds a frequently requested feature to limit the number of still images in pre-continuous shooting. You can now dial down the number of pre-continuous shots to as few as one image recorded before the shutter button is fully depressed. Here's a response to strong requests from our professional sports and photojournalist users. Over the net AF may be better thought of as through the net AF. In sports like soccer or tennis, if you're shooting through a net, the AF can sometimes get fooled and try to focus on the net itself instead of the actual subject behind the net. This upgrade adds a new Servo AF Case Special, or SP, in the camera's AF menu. With these cameras, users will have potentially more stable and consistent autofocus and subject tracking in these conditions with the SP Case active. Panning Assist is a nice addition for smoother, more consistent panning results. It leverages the in-body stabilization to detect and stabilize panned subjects. This has the potential to really help action shooters, especially in fields like motorsports, birds in flight, and even general sports shooting when a deliberate panned look is desired. Once this firmware is installed, the cameras listed on screen using CF Express memory cards can now use cards up to eight terabytes in size. This applies to Type B CF Express cards compliant with the CF Express 2.0 standard. With the EOS R50 camera, this firmware upgrade will add compatibility for two of Canon's specialized lenses for virtual reality and spatial video recording the RFS 3.9mm dual fisheye lens and the RFS 7.8mm dual lens. With these cameras, if a compatible speed light is attached, you will now have the option for your electronic viewfinder to simulate how the ambient exposure would appear. Once this firmware is installed, Go into your display simulation menu in the red shooting menu area. Select exposure only during depth of field preview. And now whenever you press the preview button with a speed light attached, 
the viewfinder will display how the ambient exposure in the scene will be rendered. During remote shooting, it will now be possible to preset focus distance when using Canon's remote capture software. EOS R1 users will find a new menu item is added in the red shooting menu area, Viewfinder Priority Mode. With this active, the camera will immediately activate the eye level viewfinder if it detects your face is near the camera. And it will now display menus and any image playback on the rear LCD screen once you press the menu or playback buttons. In other words, it effectively changes the displays so that the camera now works similarly to how digital SLRs worked in the past. Finally, for all EOS R series camera models with this firmware upgrade, there will be a new security feature added. This will make it compliant with international security regulations and reduce the risk of exposing information in the camera and especially in any connected device such as your phone or a network. Once this firmware is installed, it will require you to create a password or PIN number to turn the camera on. There is a provision to not require that password or PIN number in future camera startups. As I said earlier, we'll have a second video to explain this in more detail. There are numerous other items added to different cameras with this new firmware upgrade. Again, it's a free download available now from the Canon website in your region. And additional information about its details will be available there. Many thanks for joining us and we hope this new firmware further enhances your video and still image shooting experience.